Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will discuss about Calvin cycle which has been named after the famous scientist Melvin Calvin who did a lot of research and finally concluded with this cycle. So this was discovered by Calvin. So Calvin was doing a lot of research on the isotopes because during his period a lot of research was anyways going on the radioisotopes, how the isotopes can be put into use. Now he while studying the algal photosynthesis process using carbon-14 isotope discovered that the first product of the process of photosynthesis is a C3 acid. Now since he discovered it for the first time, so the cycle was named after his name and is thereafter known as Calvin cycle. So here the first product of carbon dioxide fixation is a 3-carbon organic acid which is a 3-phosphoglycerate. So now the question was, what was the starting material of this cycle? So what was that compound to which carbon dioxide was added? Now let us suppose it was some compound X to which you add carbon dioxide and then it forms a C3 organic acid that means a 3 carbon compound. Now this is a 1 carbon compound. Now with general assumptions everybody will think that okay this must be a 2 carbon compound right. That would be the general thought that would come to our mind that if this is 1 carbon getting added to this compound and it is forming a 3 carbon compound in that case this must be a 2 carbon compound. But in reality that is not the case. With a lot of experiments scientists got to know that the primary acceptor of CO2 was a compound known as RUBT that is rubulose biphosphate and it is a 5 carbon compound. That, is a, that was a quite surprising fact but it was experimentally proved and determined. So what is RUBP? It is ribulose 1,5 biphosphate. So there are two phosphate groups in this and there is a ribose sugar. So there are five carbon atoms here. So it is a five carbon compound to which when carbon dioxide is added, a three carbon compound organic acid is formed. So that is how the Calvin cycle starts. Now we will talk about the entire Calvin cycle in detail and we will also talk about how a three carbon compound is formed. So this is a 5 carbon ketose sugar. So there are 5 carbon atoms and there is a ketose group. So now let us look at the steps of the Calvin cycle. As I said, it is a multi-step process. So there are going to be a number of steps involved in this process. So again here also we will discuss the steps one by one. It is broadly divided into three stages, three important stages together form the Calvin cycle. The first is carboxylation, second is reduction and the third and the last step is regeneration. So these three steps together form or completes the Calvin cycle. So we will start with carboxylation first. So what happens in carboxylation? Carboxylation is nothing but adding carbon dioxide. That is called carb carboxylation. It is also known as carbon fixation. Why carbon fixation? Because carbon dioxide is taken from the atmosphere and then it is fixed to some other compound. And what is that other compound here? That is RUBP. That is ribulose 1,5 biphosphate. So that is our starting compound or the reactant. So carbon dioxide will add to RUBP to form a 3 carbon organic acid. So let us see how it happens. So it, it all starts with ribulose biphosphate and to ribulose biphosphate carbon dioxide is added. So what will it form? Now this is a 5 carbon compound. This is 1 carbon here. So when they combine they should form a 6 carbon compound right. So actually initially a 6 carbon compound is formed but this 6 carbon compound is unstable and therefore it breaks into 2, 3 carbon compound. Since it is unstable so it breaks into 2 halves. So 2, 3 carbon compounds. So this splits into 2, 3 carbon atoms. Now what are those 3 carbon atoms? They are nothing but 
the polyglycerate. So this three carbon atom is a polyglycerate. So basically two polyglycerates are formed. I mean two molecules of polyglycerate is formed. So what happens here is RUBP combines with carbon dioxide to form two molecules of polyglycerate or polyglyceric acid. So when I say polyglyceric acid or polyglycerate, I mean it is a three carbon atom and this three represents the position of the uh, glycerate group. So here this is how the equation takes place. So carbon fixation, here carboxylation of rabulose biphosphate take place that is carbon dioxide is added to rabulose biphosphate. The enzyme which plays a role here is RUBP carboxylase oxygenase that is Rubisco. So it is the short form is Rubisco RUBP carboxylase oxygenase. Why is it called carboxy, carboxylase and oxygenase? Because it helps in carboxylation as well as it causes oxygenation as well. So that is why this is called Rubisco. The product which is formed is a 3-phosphoglycerate. So it is a three carbon atom, right? So that is the first step, that is carboxylation. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.